Cambridge Young Learners English Tests. Starters. Hello. This is the Starters Listening Test. Test one. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Can you see the onion? Yes. Can I put it in the girl's hand? OK. Put the onion in the girl's hand then. Right. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Put the ice cream on the woman's head. <laughs> Sorry, what? Can you put the ice cream on the woman's head? Right. Two. What now? The rice. Can you put it in the cupboard? The rice? Yes. Put it in the cupboard under the carrots. Under the carrots? OK. Three. Now the bread. Put it under the table. Where? Well, can you see the mice? Yes. Put the bread under the table next to the mice. Next to the mice. OK. Four. And now, can you put the lemonade between the sausages and the eggs? OK. The lemonade... Between the sausages and the eggs. Right. Five. Do you like the frog? Yes, it's nice. Can you put the frog under the helicopter? OK, I'm putting it under the helicopter. There. Thank you. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the pictures. Listen to the examples. Listen and look. There are two examples. Hello, Mary. That's a good picture. Who is it? It's my brother. What's his name? Tom. Is that T-O-M? Yes, that's right. Tom. How old's Tom? He's five. Five? Yes. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Who's with Tom in this picture? It's my sister, Sue. How do you spell Sue? S-U-E. I like that name. Two. Is this your mum and dad? 
Yes. So, how many are there in your family? There's Mum, Dad, Tom, Sue, and me, and the baby. So that's six. Six. Yes, that's right. Three. And how many rooms are there in your house? Well, let's see. Um, uh, seven. Seven rooms in your house. Yes, it's a big house. Four. Tell me about your room. Well, I've got pictures on the walls. How many pictures? Uh, one, two, three, uh, nine. Nine? Yes. Wow. Five. Now then, what's this? It's my favourite toy. He's a robot. What's his name? Sammy. S A double M Y Sammy. Now listen to part two again. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. Which is Kim? Is Kim in the kitchen? No, that's Kim's sister. Kim's in the living room. Oh, yes. Is she eating a banana? No, she isn't. She's eating an orange. This is an example. Kim is in the living room eating an orange. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What's Bill doing? What's Bill doing? He's playing ball in the garden. And is he kicking the ball? No, he isn't. He's throwing it. Two. Which is Mrs. White? Is Mrs. White in her house today? No, she isn't. She's in the street. Is she wearing her blue hat or her red hat? She's wearing her red hat today. Three. What's Pat doing today? Pat's going to see a friend today. Is she going on the bus? No, she's going on the train. Oh. And is she reading her book? No. Look, she's got a pen. She's writing in her book. Four. What are Ben and Tom doing? 
What are Ben and Tom doing? Are they at school? No, they're not. They're in the park. Yes, I see. Are they running in the park? No, they're riding their bikes. Five. What is Nick's hobby? Have you got a hobby, Nick? Yes, I like taking photographs. That's nice. And do you like taking photographs of animals or people? Oh, animals. Now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look. This is a picture of some children in their classroom. Do you like it? Yes. Can you see the boy standing next to the box? He's holding a book. Yes. Good. Well, can you colour his book red? OK. So the boy standing next to the box has got a red book. Can you see the boy with the red book? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Now, can you see the boy with the glasses? Who? The boy with the glasses. Can you see him? Oh, yes. Well, colour his book blue. So I'm colouring his book blue. Good. Two. Now, look at the book between the two pens. Where? There. Between the two pens. Oh, yes. Colour it green. Colour that book green. OK. Three. Now, find the girl under the table. The girl under the table. I can see her. Right. Well, colour her book pink. OK. It's pink now. Four. Now, can you see a book next to the ball? Next to the ball? Oh, yes, I can see it. Well, colour it brown. OK, I'm colouring it brown. There. Five. And you see the girl standing on the chair? She's drawing a book on the board. The girl on the chair drawing a book. Oh, yes. Can I colour her book yellow? OK. Colour it yellow. Right.
Now listen to part four again. That is the end of the starters listening test one. Hello. This is the starters listening test. Test two. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Put the fish next to the boat. Sorry, what? The fish. Put it next to the boat. OK. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Now. Put the book under the man's chair. Pardon? Can you put the book under the man's chair? Yes, OK. Two. What now? Put the ball in the sea, between the boat and the crocodile. Sorry, the ball where? In the sea, between the boat and the crocodile. That's right. Three. What can I do now? Well, can you see the ice cream? Yes. Can I put it in the boy's hand? Yes, OK. Put the ice cream in the boy's hand. Four. And now, can you put the apple on the horse's nose? Sorry, where? The apple. Put it on the horse's nose. Right. Five. Look at the bird. Yes, I see it. Can I put it under the sun? Yes, OK. Put the bird under the sun. There. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the pictures. Listen to the examples. Listen and look. There are two examples. Hello. What's your name? I'm Tony. How do you spell Tony? T. O N Y. Well done. And how old are you? I'm seven. Seven? Yes. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Now. What's this? It's my toy mouse. What's his name? His name's Small Mouse. <laughs> and can you spell small? Yes. S-M-A-L-L. -L. Two. 
too. Now then, who's this? Oh, it's my bird. He can say hello. And how old is he? He's nineteen. Nineteen? Wow! Yes, he's very old. Three. And who's this? Oh, that's Dad. His name's Nick. Is that N I C K? Yes, and he's very, very old. <laughs> Four. So, how many brothers and sisters have you got? Well, I've got two brothers and three sisters, so that's five. Five brothers and sisters, a big family. Yes. Five. Is this your mum? No, <laughs> it's my grandma. Oh, sorry. What's her name then? Grandma May. Can you spell May? Yes, M A Y. Now listen to part two again. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. Where's the handbag? I can't find my handbag. It's on the floor, Mum. Where? In the kitchen? No, in the living room. Look, there by the table. This is an example. The handbag is in the living room by the table. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. What are Tony and Lucy doing? Are Tony and Lucy at home today? No, they're at school. Are they having lessons, or are they playing now? They're playing in the playground. Two. Which is Nick's picture? Are you drawing a hippo, Nick? No. It's a monkey. And is the monkey in the zoo? No. It's playing in a tree. Three. Where does Anna live? Do you live in a house or flat, Anna? In a flat. That's nice. Is it next to that big park? No, it's next to the sea. Four. How does Alex go to school? Does your mother drive you to school, Alex? She's got a car, but she doesn't drive me. No. Do you go on the bus or on your bike then? On a big green bus with two doors. Five. What does Bill eat for breakfast? 
What do you eat for breakfast, Bill? Do you like eggs? I do like eggs, but not for breakfast. Well, sausages then. Sausages for breakfast? No, I eat burgers. Now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, this is a picture of a boy having a bath. Do you want to colour it? Yes, please. Can you see the duck next to the boat? The duck next to the boat. Yes. Colour it yellow. OK. It's yellow now. Can you see the yellow duck next to the boat? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. And can you see the duck in the bath? Yes. Well, colour it red. The duck in the bath? Yes. OK. I'm colouring it red. Good. Two. Now, look on the floor. There's a duck on the mat. Can you see it? Where? On the mat. Oh, yes. Right. Colour it blue. Colour that duck blue. Three. And I can see a duck under the chair. Under the chair? Oh, yes. Do you want to colour it? Yes. Can I colour it pink? OK. Pink's a good colour. Four. Now there's a duck in the picture on the wall. Is there? Yes. Look, in the picture. Oh, yes. And can I colour it orange? Yes. Colour it orange. That's nice. Five. Now, can you see the duck on the floor between the T-shirt and the jeans? Between the T-shirt and the jeans? Yes. Good. Do you want to colour it brown? Brown? OK, then. Now listen to part four again. That is the end of the starter's listening test two. Hello. This is the starter's listening test 
Test 3. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Put the orange in the water. Sorry, where? The orange. Put it in the water in front of the hippo. In front of the hippo. OK. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Now put the spider on the crocodile's nose. What? Can you put the spider on the crocodile's nose? Yes. OK. Two. Now what? Put the carrot under the red bird. Sorry, what? The carrot. Put it under the red bird. Right. Three. What can I do now? Can you see the banana? Yes. Can I put it in the giraffe's mouth? Yes, OK. Put the banana in the giraffe's mouth. Four. And now the coconut. Can you see it? Yes. Well, put the coconut between the monkey's arms. Where? Between the monkey's arms. OK, then. Five. That's a nice lizard. Yes. Put it on the elephant's head. So I'm putting the lizard on the elephant's head. Well done. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the pictures. Listen to the examples. Listen and look. There are two examples. Anna, who's that in the picture you're drawing? It's my friend, Lucy. Lucy. How do you spell that? L-U-C-Y. Right. How old's Lucy? Oh, she's nine like me. Nine? Yes, that's right. Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Now, what's that? That's our school bus. Right. And who do you go to school with? Lucy and my brothers, Tom and Bill. So, there are four of you on the bus? Yes, that's right. Four of us. Two. Is this your school? Yes, it's great. How many children are in your class? Sixteen. Sixteen? A big class. Yes. Three. And is that your teacher? Yes. What's his name? Mr. Green. Can you spell green? G R 
double E N. Well done. Four. How many lessons do you have in the morning, Anna? Well, we have English, sport and drawing. So that's three then. Three. That's right. Five. Now, what's this? Oh, that's my cat. Her name's Happy because she's always nice and happy. Can you spell her name? Yes. H A P P Y. Well done. Now listen to part two again. That is the end of part two. Part three. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. What does Ben want for his birthday? What do you want for your birthday, Ben? Oh, a big bike. What, a blue bike like your brother? No, a big red bike. This is an example. Ben wants a big red bike. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One. Where's the bread? Where's the bread? I can't find it. Well, it isn't here on the table. No. And it isn't in the cupboard. Look, it's on the chair. Who put it there? Two. Who's got the school book? Where's your school book, Pat? I don't know. Has Kim got it? No, and Tom hasn't got it. He doesn't like books. I know that. Oh no! Look, the baby's got it again. Three. What's Nick doing? What's Nick doing? Is he watching TV again? No, he isn't. He's in his bedroom. Oh, good. Is he working? No, he's sleeping. Four. Which girl is Alex's sister? Which one's your sister, Alex? Well, she's got long hair. Can you see her? Is she wearing a blue or a pink dress? A blue one. Look, that's her waving. Five. What's Kim's favourite animal? So, what's your favourite animal then, Kim? Well, I've got a dog. He's really nice. But, do you like crocodiles? No, I don't. No, my favourite animal's a horse. Now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Look, this is a picture of a monster and a girl under the sea. 
Do you like it? Yes. Can you see a fish between the girl's feet? Between the girl's feet? Yes. Can you colour it orange? OK. I'm colouring it orange. That's good. Can you see the orange fish? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Now, there's a fish behind the ball. Can you see it? Where? Behind the ball. Oh, yes. Can I colour it blue? Yes. Blue's a good colour. Two. Can you see a fish in the monster's hand? In the monster's hand? Yes. Can you colour it green? What colour? Green, please. OK. Three. Now find the fish under the hat. Under the hat? Oh, yes, I can see it. Good. Well, can you colour it purple? Purple? OK, then. Four. And there's a fish on the boat. Is there? On the boat? Oh, yes, I see it. Well, colour it yellow. OK. I'm colouring it yellow. Good. Five. And now, the fish between the two frogs. Can you see it? Between the two frogs? Yes, I can. OK. Colour it pink. That's a nice colour. It's pink now. Great. Now listen to part four again. That is the end of the starters listening test three. Hello. This is the starters listening test, test four. Look at part one. Now look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. Put the mirror under the clock. Sorry, what? Can you put the mirror under the clock, please? OK. Can you see the line? This is an example. Now you listen and draw lines. One. Now, put the box under the desk. Pardon? Can you see the box of toys? Yes. OK, then. Put it under the desk. Right. Two. 
too. Now, can you see the house? Yes. Where can I put it? Put it on the bed next to the monster. Right. I'm putting the house on the bed next to the monster. Three. What now? Can you see the painting? Yes. Well, put it on the wall next to the cupboard. So, I'm putting the painting on the wall next to the cupboard. Good. Well done. Four. I like the train. Me too. Can I put it on the mat? OK, then. Put the train on the mat. Five. Now the computer. Put it on the floor between the boy and the kite. On the floor? That's right. Between the boy and the kite. Right. Thank you. Now listen to part one again. That is the end of part one. Part two. Look at the pictures. Listen to the examples. Listen and look. There are two examples. Hello, Ben. How old are you? It's my birthday today. I'm seven. Seven? Yes. That's old. And this is? My grandpa. His name's Sam. Is that S-A-M? Yes, that's right. And he's very old. <laughs> <laughs> Can you see the answers? Now you listen and write a name or a number. One. Now you're drawing pictures. Yes, and this is a house. Grandma lives here with Grandpa. Her name's May. Is that M-A-Y? Yes, that's right. Two. And what's this? It's a cow. Grandpa's got five cows. Five cows? Yes. Three. And is this his horse? Yes. He's very big, you know. His name's Monster. What? M-O-N-S-T-E-R? Yes. That's a great name. Four. And he's 11 years old. 11? Yes. And you know, I can ride him. That's great. Five. And this is a sheep. Yes, I can see that. Grandpa has 12 baby sheep. 12? Wow! Now listen to part two again. That is the end of part two.
Part 3. Look at the pictures. Now listen and look. There is one example. Which is Sam's bedroom? Are there two beds in Sam's bedroom? No, that's my bedroom. There's one bed in Sam's bedroom. Oh, OK. And is there a snake on the bed in Sam's bedroom? No, the snake's under the bed. This is an example. The snake is in Sam's bedroom under the bed. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. 1. What's Sue drawing? What are you doing, Sue? I'm drawing an animal. Oh, yes. Is it a cat? No, it's a mouse, a brown mouse. Two. Which is Anna's house? Which is your house then, Anna? It's got five windows. See it? Does it have a garden? No, but it has got a tree next to it. 3. What's Ben's mum doing today? Ben, is your mum teaching at school today? No, it's Sunday. She's in the garden. She's painting. Painting the house or the wall? She's painting the wall. 4. What does Bill want to eat? What do you want to eat, Bill? An apple? No, I don't like apples. OK. A nice ice cream, then? No, I don't want an ice cream. I want chips. Please. 5. Where's Tom's dad? Where's dad? I don't know, Tom. Is he in the garden? I can't see him and he isn't in the kitchen. Listen. He's in the bathroom and he's singing again. <laughs> <laughs> now listen to part three again. That is the end of part three. Part four. Look at the picture. Listen and look. There is one example. The people are in the garden. Do you want to colour the picture? Yes, please. Can you see the ball in the water? Where? Look. There, in the water. Oh, yes. Can you colour it blue? OK. It's blue now. Can you see the blue ball in the water? This is an example. Now you listen and colour. One. Can you see the big dog? He's sleeping. Yes. Well, there's a ball next to the dog's nose. Next to the dog's nose, yes. Well, colour that ball red. OK. It's red. Good. Two. Now, can you see a ball between the flowers? Where? There, between the flowers. 
Oh, yes. Good. Well, colour it yellow. Colour that ball yellow. OK. Three. Now find the ball on the wall. On the wall. Yes, I can see it. Right. Well, colour it black. OK. It's black now. Four. And can you see a ball under the big window? Where? Under the big window. Oh, yes. Can I colour it green? OK, then. Colour it green. Five. Right. Now find the ball between the small dog and the man. Between the small dog and the man. Yes. Do you want to colour it purple? OK. I'm colouring it purple. That's very good. Now listen to part four again. That is the end of the starter's listening test four.